There's a little unknown fact about the library that not a lot of people know. It's missing its thing from the top. So let's go over and I will educate you. I don't know if you can read that. From 1869 until the Great Depression, England exported about 100,000 children to Canada as cheap farm laborers. Per hundreds, perhaps thousands, came to the Ottawa Valley. Not all were orphans. Some were sent over without the knowledge or permission of their parents. Others were sponsored by benefactors I think I got into that in a different video. Who saw greater hope for them in this land of plenty. Virtually all were poor. Most were between 7 and 14 years of age. But some were mere toddlers. Each child was supposed to get room, board, token pay, and some education. Many received no wages, schooling, no schooling, and much abuse. To their credit, most home children, hyphenated home children, overcame privation, loneliness, and prejudice to become productive and proud Canadians. Their descendants and the citizens of Renfrew honor them and celebrate their contribution to this country at the first reunion of the home children in Renfrew in 1991, which I'm assuming was this Carnegie Library. And it was the Carnegie Library until, I believe, 1991. It's also a heritage building as of 1974 so this building does confuse me as does that message over there but home for the children so they probably built every time I look around at something that's built around here I wonder now if it was built by the children you know like especially Considering a lot of stuff is built out of stone, limestone, all different kinds. There's churches built out of stone. There's all kinds of... Can you imagine waking up and being like, guess what your job is for today? You're uh, digging up stone. <laughs> mm, I don't know. But there, there, you can read that. If you didn't know that about the Ottawa Valley home children, now you do.